Okay, so we're talking with the folks at DA Blodgett this morning, St. John's, and we're here with Sharon Lockridge, who is the executive director of this great organization. Sharon, start off by telling people exactly what you do, because you've sure. been around for more than a century. Yes, we're actually celebrating our 125th year this year. Congratulations. Thank you. And uh, for 125 years, we've been serving the abused and neglected children in our community. Uh, we run the county shelter when uh, children are abused and neglected. So uh, last year, we served the highest number of children we've ever served um, who have been removed from their homes. Is that because of what's going on with the economy? People it's get really stressed out, and then that kind of just trickles down, and unfortunately, kids sort of become the victims. Sure, that's part of it. Uh, you know, that's certainly one factor. Uh, we're also the largest provider of foster care in our community, and we provide Big Brothers Big Sisters services. We provide residential care for children and just a, a number of services for families and children in their homes. And uh, as you can see by our signs, we are always in desperate need of volunteers for mentoring, for providing foster care for children, and volunteers to just assist us with kids. What qualifies someone to be a good volunteer for you, whether it's uh, actually serving as a mentor or even as a foster family? Do you need to have some great credentials? You, you just need to be somebody who wants to help children and loves kids and just wants to give back to their community. It's a great way to yes. get involved. Yes. Helping the life of a child. I mean, it's like, what, what more meaningful thing it's could you ever do? It's the best thing you can do. And we have some great volunteers in this community. That's right. And you need more. We need more. We always, always need open. more. Yes. Well, thank you so much. We're going to talk a little bit more uh, coming up about how people can get involved. So uh, definitely a great organization. 125 years. 125 years. Congratulations. You need a thank big you. birthday cake for that one. Yes, we do. <laughs> <laughs> so all morning long down here, we have had the uh, great folks from DA Blodgett. Sharon Lockridge is the executive director and again for people just joining us tell us what you do at DA Blodgett. We provide a number of services in this community. We run the county shelter for abused and neglected children. We also provide foster care, adoption services, big brothers, big sisters, a number of services in the homes. It's about mentoring those kids that maybe are at risk and then providing the immediate services that some of those that are really in harm's way exactly, need. Yes. So tell people, you've been along, around for 125 years. Are you supported by any uh, government funding or is it a collaboration of private and public dollars that help to support what you do? It is a collaboration of public and private. We do have contracts with the state to provide foster care and residential care for children in the county shelter. But we rely a lot on our community partners, our foundations, our corporations, and of course, individuals who support us. And what's the need been like? Um, the need has been tremendous. Last year we saw more children in the shelter, in Kids for Shelter, than we've ever had before. So children removed from their homes. And we've had a tremendous need for foster parents. Uh, we always have a need for big brothers, big sisters to support our kids. We always have about 300 children that are waiting for a mentor. Yeah, and I know those are really important things that people can do. So 125 years young in our community making a huge difference. And again, if you're interested in helping kids, really what you need that qualifies you is a great big heart and right. a desire to if help a child. Time. Absolutely. Time. So again, we'll get the information about how you can connect to the great work they do on our website at woodtv.com.